Hello, this is Patrick at 1CNC West and thank you for taking the time to take a look at this video. What we're going to be doing is taking a look at 1CNC Mill Express. First thing I want to do is show you how easy it is to customize the interface. I just changed the size of the icons there and now I'm changing the background color. You can also create a custom menu in the upper right hand corner. Just right hand mouse click on any option you want and 1CNC will populate that upper right hand corner with whatever tools you'd like. They can be geometric or manufacturing tools. In fact, let's add pocketing. How about some facing, profiling, drilling, and thread milling. It's very nice. Now, you can also take menus and place them wherever you want to. They're easy to dock back again if you want. You can even collapse the main toolbars on the left and right hand side to work in full screen mode if you'd like as well. Very, very nice, easy to customize to your own preferences. Now let's take a look at creating some wireframe geometry. So I'm going to start with line. I'm going to use absolute coordinate input. You can use absolute or incremental. I'm just typing in absolute values and clicking OK. Let's switch over to incremental. We'll go up Y one inch and click OK. Also notice you can grid point snap and look how 1CNC references existing geometry with those dashed lines. It makes it really nice. That looks good. Let's add a fillet in the upper right hand corner. How about a two inch fillet there? Let's change the fillet to a half inch and let's put one in the upper left corner. Now let's change them to one eighth and just put a couple fillets on the slot. Great, very easy to do. Let's add a chamfer now. How about a half inch lower right hand corner? That looks good. Now notice when you create geometry, it's easy to change the dimensions and location of the geometry as well. Let's add some dimensions. How about a couple of vertical dimensions on the left side? Put that there. Let's pick another one and place it right about there. That looks good. How about a horizontal dimension? We'll put that there. A radial dimension in the upper right hand corner and a diametrical dimension on that hole. You can also apply cross hatching. There's different styles of cross hatching if you'd like. Let's just use the default which is iron. That looks good and we'll just click OK and there's the cross hatching. So one CNC Mill Express, you can create wireframe geometry prints and so on. You can also import solids, SLD PRT files, step files, parasolids, many different solids and surface types. I'm going to load a step file in here and click finish. And there you go. There's the step file. That looks good. You can verify different vertices on the step file. Here I'm measuring the distance between a couple of vertices and have all the information in the lower right hand tool. So a nice suite of verification tools provided by 1CNC. Of course when you bring your solid model in you can of course change things like its rotational value. I just use the digital compass there and easily rotate it at 90 degrees. Or we can come over to the left and type in whatever angle you want. It's very simple to do. So there's a 45 degree rotation on that. How about moving it? Well, you select the geometry. Let's say I want that point right there to be at the datum. We're going to move, grab the point, snap the datum, and it's just that easy. Let's do the same with that point there. That looks good. Okay, let's put everything back to where it was. I'm just going to hit the undo key a couple times. Let's bring it back to that location. That looks very good. Another thing I'd like to point out is extracting surface edges or extracting edges. You can easily select on surfaces or edges and one CNC will extract wireframe geometry. You can see that blue geometry there. It's very fast, very easy to do. You can also color surfaces. Now the reason why you might want to color of a face of a solid model, that might represent a different surface finish. You don't have to do that, but it's a very nice option. So that wireframe geometry, that's so we can use that later on for manufacturing. Now I want to show you that we can use layers. I'm going to add a layer in the palette in the lower right hand corner. Let's add another layer here called stock. That looks good. We'll change our view to a top view. And I'm just going to quickly sketch out a rectangle and that's going to be our stock and it's on the stock layer. So using layers, very powerful. It's a great housekeeping tool. All right, now let's take a look at manufacturing. I'm going to start with just a pocket operation on the part. So we select the pocket. Now, if you select a tool from the tool library, 1CNC will automatically fill out the speeds and feeds. So in the tool library, I'll come down to the end mill category. Let's go with the three quarter inch. See how the speeds and feeds populate? You can manually define tools if you want to, or you can pull a tool from the library. Now the feed control is nice. You can tell 1CNC to slow the feed rate down as it approaches sharp corners or machine small fillets. Look how 1CNC shows the solid model for your clearance planes. And as I up the clearance to an inch, you'll see that red grid moves up 
and moves down. So very nice, lots of dynamic tools. Different types of machining algorithms for pocketing. High speed machining is included. I'm just going to ramp Helix down inside the pocket. And there you go. Very nice, very easy to do. Another thing I want to point out are machining templates. Once CNC learns as you apply toolpath, and when you select a machining template, one CNC is going to populate every single dialog box with all those parameters. So the more times you use one CNC, the more machining templates get stored, and you can use those to easily populate your parameters. Very, very efficient. Let's perform a facing operation. That looks good. Again, if you want to, you can pull a tool from the library, or you can manually create a tool if you want to. You can override the speeds and the feeds. We'll select some coolant there. We'll click next. Again, we have our model and we're setting our clearance plane. I'm going to just use one direction. Now notice how you can rearrange the machining operations. I just moved the facing operation to the top there. Let's preview the toolpath. Now when you preview the toolpath, it shows you the toolpath in relationship to the solid model. Okay, so now if you want to see the stock being removed, we're going to use simulate. So you have preview and simulate included with Mill Express. So this is simulate. You can make the tool holder translucent or tune it off. You can do the same with the tool if you want to. Back plotting shows the actual tool path. Red's going to be your rapid moves and green's going to be your feed moves. And of course, you can speed things up or slow it down. Very good. All right, here's the compare feature. That white outline, that's the cross section of the original solid model. So as I scroll back and forth, I can check the results of my toolpath against the original solid. That is a powerful tool and included with one CNC Mill Express. All right, so what we're doing here is we're going to create a CNC program really quick. I'll just give it a program number, 7705. You can select from over 100 different post processors. I'm gonna use just a Fanuc 10 on that. Click save and there's the CNC program. We're going to talk more about post-processing CNC code in just a little bit. You can also, if you want to, create a setup sheet. So here's a setup sheet. It's a nice PDF file. It gives you the X0, Y0, Z0, the cycle time, all the pertinent information. Very, very powerful. Now what if you want to machine multiple sides of a part? Well, it's real easy within one CNC. All you have to do is select three axis reposition. We're going to machine that little slot or little edge there. I'm going to select a construction plane I created a little bit earlier. And all we do is go to profile and just profile that. And we're in the mode called three axis repositioning. It's included with the Mill Express. That way you can machine multiple sides of the part. You can use different fixtures if you want to, create separate programs or just one long CNC program that has your different stops and comments to flip the part. So here's the simulate. I've added some more toolpath. So we're just going to, I haven't machined everything, but I want to show you there's, let's say that's one side. Then it's showing the flipping of the part and then there's the machining of the other side. So at the end of the day, you end up with a representation of what the part looks like. We just machined two sides, but you could machine five sides, six sides, ten sides, as many sides as you like. That looks good. All right, so let's go back in here now and let's take a look at how easy it is to edit things. I just selected an item and I selected edit and I'm just typing in new values. Now another way you can edit is just highlight a command and down at the bottom you can type in different values. So I'm up in the RPM to 4000 on that one going to up the RPM to 4000 on that machining operation and click OK. So you don't have to go inside of a command to edit that. Notice how you can just simulate one command or preview one command. Here I'm just simulating that outside roughing. Now to take that a step further, you could do this as well. See how you can turn different operations off? I'm turning those operations off and that way we're just going to simulate three different machining operations. What's really cool about that is you can also use those operations just to output CNC code for the operations that are turned on. So that works for simulate, preview, and also post-processing. Really very, very nice. All right, um, we talked about moving, how easy it is to move operations. I'm just showing you how you can you can move operations up and down, and you can even repick geometry if you've selected the wrong geometry. Now, what about fixtures? If you want to, you can import fixtures by using merge. When you use merge file, that will bring the extra geometry in there and won't delete your 
existing geometry. Merge is fantastic for bringing in tooling and fixturing. Let's go back into post-processing again. I want to show you that one CNC comes with over 100 post-processors. If you need us to edit or create posts, there's never a charge for that. Here I'm going to give this a different program number, let's say 7708. We're going to post that out. There's the CNC code. Once you have the CNC code, you can do all kinds of neat things. There's calculators. There's a speeds and feeds calculator. You can also use the included RS-232 to upload and download and set whatever parameters you want to speak to your control. Okay. Hey, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, give us a call. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.